Hey, Trail Kreitzer at Go Hunt. Uh, it's been a while since we've done any gear reviews, so we wanted to get back started doing some more reviews for you guys. Uh, and today I have three knives that we have in the gear shop, all three knives from Argali. Uh, Argali makes great game bags. You can see those in the gear shop, and then they also make a series of three knives that we also carry. Uh, all three of these are available in the gear shop right now. Um, all of them are excellent knives and uh, they make a knife whether you're looking for like an everyday type of knife to you know your ultra light knife if you want to go steep and deep into the back country and you want to really save as much weight as you possibly can uh, they've got a knife for you so I just wanted to run through their three models that we carry in the gear shop uh, starting with this little guy here on the end uh, this is the Argali call knife and that's just COL uh, in the name uh, you can see that that is kind of their ultra light skeletonized knife. Uh, so that knife is one ounce total, uh, total weight on that thing. Um, it's S35 steel, so it's going to have excellent blade, blade retention uh, and sharpness. You can break down an entire animal without having to retouch that blade up. Um, it is an ultra light knife. Um, so this is for your guys that are looking to go, you know, as light as they can possibly go. Um, you've got some grooves here in the bottom of the handle, which is great for dexterity. You've also got a couple cut here into the back of the blade, which is great for your thumb or your forefinger when you're skinning. Uh, it's got kind of a caping design, so this would be an excellent knife also for caping. Uh, overall length on this knife is going to be six and a half inches. You've got two and a half inch blade and a four inch handle. Uh, when I hold this blade in my hand, it feels like it's a little bit small. I do have big hands, uh, but once again, uh, this is a knife that uh, somebody's going to buy to really save and shave ounces out of their backpack and go you know, deep into the backcountry and, and just have one knife to do it all. So the price point on that knife is going to be uh, $199.99, so you're 200 bucks on that Argali coal knife. Next knife I have is the Argali Carbon knife. So this knife here, you can obviously see it's got a different blade shape. You've got much more edge uh, out here on the end. This would be an excellent skinny knife. Uh, I would say this would be kind of a do everything type of knife. You've got much more uh, blade length on this. Um, the total blade length on that is three and a quarter. Overall length of this knife is gonna be seven and a quarter. So it's a much longer knife as you can see. Uh, you're not actually adding a whole lot of uh, ounces over the coal knife, so you're only going to be into this knife 1.8 ounces, so it's still a super lightweight option for backpack hunters. It also has a couple of side plates that you can see here. Uh, this, these little side plates have got a nice texture to them. They've got some tack to them, so they actually kind of stick and feel good in your hand. Uh, once again, this is a S35VN, um, but this is the Argali Carbon Knife. Price point on that is going to be uh, $189.99, so less expensive than the Kohl. Uh, again, a little bit heavier, longer blade. I feel like that's exceptional for skinning. It's also great for uh, quartering. So anytime you're boning out meat or you're you know, cutting out back straps, you've got that added length in the blade to get down there along the, uh, the back strap, especially on a big animal like an elk. Uh, once again, the steel is the same, it's that S35VN, um, price point slightly less at $189.99, so it's a little bit cheaper than the coal. It's a little bit heavier, not too much, only uh, 0.8 ounces, uh, and you do, like I said, you get that extra dexterity and grip that you get with the, uh, the handle. And it is a nice fluorescent orange, which I like because you're a whole lot less likely to, uh, to lose your knife. Um, one thing I should have probably noted on this coal knife is that it is Cerakoted uh, with that orange, which is great because you're not going to lose it. It's also going to add uh, major durability to that knife on, a, on the whole. Those Cerakotes are great at uh, adding durability to your knife. All right, the last knife and the most expensive knife that we have from uh, Argali is the Argali Cerak. Uh, this is a great feeling knife. Uh, of the three, this is actually probably my favorite. Uh, it just feels great in the hand. Um, I love the little grooves that you've got along the back side of the blade. Also here in the front part of the blade, which is uh, a great little resting spot. It's actually kind of a deeper groove in compared to the other knives. Uh, it really cradles your index finger nicely. Fits great, I don't feel like I'm ever gonna slip and cut my finger. Um, and I do tend to place my uh, index finger quite a bit on the back of the blade when I'm scanning. You can see that this blade is a bit thicker than some of the other blades, so it's a little bit wider. Although it is a little bit shorter, so the blade length on this Cerak knife is only going to be three inches compared to three and a quarter on the uh, carbon knife. 
Uh, the steel in this blade is going to be a CPM S35 steel. Uh, great blade retention once again. Uh, no issues doing a, an entire animal without really having to touch that blade up. You can see that this knife also has kind of a skeletonized finish, but you do have these added uh, side plates, which do have, like I said, some texture to them, which does give it a nice feel in the hand. It's a little bit uh, sticky, if you will. So you're not gonna drop that blade. Uh, and I do like the green color. You've got uh, an orange inlay, which is great for just being able to visually see that so that you don't set it down and lose it somewhere. Uh, once again, this blade is the most expensive of the Argali knives at uh, $209.99. Uh, weight on this blade is gonna be 2.1 ounces. So it's only slightly heavier uh, than the other two. Um, you know, once again, going over all three knives that we carry from Argali, those being the Ceric, the Carbon, and the Coal. Uh, weight differences on those three knives, you're going to have 2.1 ounces, 1.8 ounces, and 1 ounce. Uh, you do have some different blade lengths. So the Ceric is going to have a 3 inch blade, and it does have a little bit longer handle. So for me, I personally like the feel of that in my hand. It gives me a little bit longer handle as I do have a bigger hand. Uh, overall length on that, seven and a quarter. Uh, and like I said, it's the, the added length in that is in the, uh, the handle rather than the blade. Uh, this, the carbon knife, uh, total length seven and a quarter, so the same as the Ceric, but it does have a shorter handle and a longer blade. So you're gonna be three and a quarter on the blade with the shorter handle. Uh, for me, like I said, I find that uh, my hand's a little bit big maybe for that in my hand, but I do like the added blade length, especially when I'm breaking down an animal. If you're digging out uh, back straps, that's an added bonus of that knife. And then, you know, the, uh, the ounce counter's dream, the guy that wants to go as light and fast as possible. You've got the coal, which is a one ounce knife, completely skeletonized, uh, but definitely sharp and quality enough to break down an entire animal. So those are three knives from our Golly. Um, as you can see, all of them have a Kydex sheath that it's gonna come with for storage. Uh, all of them are excellent quality. Um, you know, we've had some guys in the, in the office that have been using them and they've had really good luck with them and really like these knives. I think if you're looking for a new knife, um, our Golly has something to offer you and all three of them are available in the gear shop right now.